This is Twit. Uh, speaking of this new ham segment, uh, a little bit ago, you you said to me, you know, let's start looking for ham stories, new hams. They don't have to be kids. They can be newcomers. They could be upgrades. And, you know, so we asked for stories and we still do. And we're looking for, you know, just send an email. Dr. Bob Gordo at all sort of comes to me and, and we look for the best stories. This one, uh, Dr. Bob said, you know what? Look at the cover of the magazine here. It's a it's a set of twins. And you went on to talk about uh, triplets that you had worked back in, I think, the late 50s. But this time, they came to us. They were on the cover of the magazine. So I want to introduce you to two new young hams tonight on Ham Nation. Well, this week, I've got some bona fide celebrities. Celebrities, okay? Only on the big show do we get the celebrities like that. Joe KC3CSI and James KC3CSH. So tell me a little bit about this. I mean, this is this is awesome. I mean, come on. <laughs> On the cover of QST? That's great. Congratulations. Well, uh, we were up at our Radio Shack Skyview, a um, radio club, Skyview, um, and we were we got the chance to work W on AW Stroke 3 for, and for the week. And that was one of the days we were up there and our, 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 the, our mentor, uh, Cook, uh, Bob, as we know him by Cookie, um, WC3O, uh, he took the picture and sent it into uh, QST and they accepted it and put it on the cover. So, so what were your jobs during this particular event? I can see you guys are working in tandem. You got another fellow there helping you out. What were your roles on that day? We really didn't have roles. We were just um, working. We were just working uh, uh, the bands that we had the chance to work. I'm pretty sure we were both working ready. Yeah, in that time. So, uh, uh, yeah, we didn't really have roles. We just had the chance to work when we got the chance to. So, or we just worked when we got the chance. And the uh, fellow in the back, that, that's his name's Chuck Mills. We got hit. We got in touch with him and know him from uh, um, one of the um, silent keys. He got ours, uh, got a couple antennas that we got, um, and we were work. He was working phone, and we were working ready at the time. And we don't have ready, but we haven't. We don't have ready set up on our shack yet. We are um, still working at that. So your dad is also a ham. Is that where your interest began, or did you guys? How did you guys come about this? Well, our our dad was like in the CB as a kid and his like a couple friends or neighbors got him in and he got his license and then um he like saw it like two years ago and we were thinking like he was thinking like oh we should study for this and get our generals and and i took we took the test on uh, in april of last year and um i my dad passed his general and he passed i passed my tech and general and james here passed his tech and we got we started working and then so shortly we were at um a lo local ham fest and james passed his um general and that's what we are whole generals right now we're gonna um start working for our extra class too that's excellent and just to let our audience know these are identical twins here of course joe is in the white james is in the red so a as we go forward uh, i won't confuse it now i'm glad you wore colors i was like they're gonna they could possibly do this to me but you guys have been through this enough i'm sure and yeah, if, it's, if you see uh, any pictures of me i'm usually the one wearing red i love red as my color so okay got it good tip by the way so you're closest here on the cover of the magazine for pete's yeah. sake now do you guys have separate interests are you both pretty much into the same things right now i mean this is a vast hobby we can do a lot of different things we can build antennas we can collect qsl cards we can work dx and contesting what are you guys into are you into the same things or different things well at the moment we are basically into the same thing we um have recently uh got up to uh, working cw and right now we're around um 15 to 20 words a minute wow. um, and we only started what six weeks ago seven weeks ago and um we Right, actually, before you called, we were QRP uh, straight key, um, trying to get some contacts. Unfortunately, we unfortunately we didn't get one, 
but that's um the struggle when you're working qrp um but yeah we've been working cw and we have a lot of contacts half of my qsl cards are cw contacts now so yeah we we have a class at um, our club that uh bob bastone um wc30 runs and every monday night they have it on um our repeater and on 28 102 every night uh every monday night and it's um good good process to get you up I want to talk about your club a little bit, and you can give the name here after I give you this question, because I've read a little bit and I've talked to some people. I found you through your club. Uh, Of course, I saw you on the front of the magazine and was interested, but your club really does some great things like the Elmer Night and where you can build some different things. Tell us a little bit about your club and why that means something to you. Well, our club, uh, Skyview Amateur Radio Society, um, or K3MJW, um, they, we have been gone up there since um, January of last year, and um, learned a, a bunch of things. There's a ni- lot of nice people up there, great, El- um, great Elmers, and about and um, that have taught us a lot of things. The Elmer Knights, you if you see on the website, um, they have um, a bunch of pictures of us working um, as building like small projects like a uh, Humana Light, um, and things like like a uh, small. Um, Kier and things like that. We built a tiny uh, an antenna, a quick build antenna. Yep. And we have like we, um we uh, switches and things like that too. Switches, yeah. yeah. Um, they are all pro um pros- projects that we can work on at um at at the club. Yeah. Do you guys have individual rigs? Or are you both sharing a rig at home now in the shack? At the moment, we're sharing a rig, as you can see behind us. Um, that's the only rig we have, but at the club there are several rigs we can work. So when we're up there on Tuesday nights, every Tuesday night we have a um, special meeting, and um, we go up there and you can each work your own own band and your own um, area at, at one time. But right now we're only working one station here. Um, how, how does that work? Do you guys share it? Do you do like a timeshare thing, or do you team up? How how do you guys work out who's doing? We usually what? just take turns. Like if we would someone would be calling CQ. Sometimes we're not back here all together and one person would work the radio, but if we're both back here, then one person would call CQ or if they're, we're searching and pouncing, we would contact the person and the next person would talk to them. And then we would both have the same per- people that we talked to, so. That's great. Congratulations on your upgrade and everything you've done and getting yeah, on the magazine. You guys look so serious and focused. Uh, I would like to join your team. Could do you have a spot? There is a chair that I could maybe <laughs> yeah. sit in and just watch you guys work. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, we have everyone's welcome at our club, and um, thank you. It, it is a pleasure um, having this opportunity to um, talk to you, and um, it's a pleasure working at our, our club. It's there. There's a lot of cool things to do. Can we make a contact on like 20 meters or 15 that, where I get on and work you guys? I think that's a cool aspect of this whole segment. Is I get to meet new friends and new people and we get to work on the air together. So maybe I'll find you, Joe, KC3CSI, and James, KC3CSH. And congratulations on all of your success. I hope to work you a little bit further down the coax, as they say. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we'd, look, we'd be looking forward to working you too. 7-3, guys. I'll talk to you again soon, okay? Okay, yeah, 73. Well, there you have it, Don. I mean, 15 to 20 <laughs> words a minute of CW. Wow. I'm like, oh, wow. they don't want me on that team right now. I need some study. But <laughs> impressive wow. 13-year-old boys in really sharp mind, really focused, and working hard at it. So it was a pleasure to meet those guys. Man, I can barely spell CW, much less do 15 words a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Scary.